Hey guys, what's going on? This is Austin here. Welcome back to another part of Paranoic. I am assuming this is going to be the final part. Um, there still is quite a ways to go, so I will see you guys at the end. Hmm. Second floor center right door. Ooh. This. Oh my god, yes, yeah, the picture we saw. It can't be. It, it's. Oh my god. Gotta run. Have to go, have to go. Alright, it's this one, I believe. And then we head for the basement. Wait, what? Oh! Basement. Second floor. Center. Right door. Head for the basement. It's a dead end. There's nowhere to hide. Oh no. Oh snap. Stay back. That's your grandma, man. What used to be your grandma. Stay away. Oh, bear. Mickey. Oh. <laughs> this stuff, bear. Why do you keep reporting every little thing to me? I don't care about your child. I'm sorry, sister. Oh, she looks young. Yeah, she does. I do. My character does look a lot like her. It's just, I want to tell someone. So, who else would I... My child seems quite healthy. It's a rather late birth, so I was anxious how, how it might go, but... <laughs> you love to boast, don't you? About how you married a rich man and live in such harmony? What a bitch. Look, unlike you, I'm a very busy woman. Don't bother me with your nonsense. Man, bitch, just... Man, Grandma, go up there and just smack her in the face. Aunt, go up there, man, just smack her straight in the face. Mom's a real piece of work. Let's see. Oh, my Mickey, it's been a while. Are you done with school for today? Yeah. Hey, is your baby gonna be a girl? Well, I don't know yet, but I got the feeling it will be, so I'm making lots of stuffed animals. Though, if it is a boy, maybe we won't much care for them. He won't much care for them. I don't think so. If you made them, Auntie, I think anybody would like them. Is that so? <laughs> Thank you. I know. I'll make a stuffed animal. For you, too, Mickey. Mickey. Ah, uh, but you are in high school, so maybe you're a bit old. No, no, no. I'd love to have that, Auntie. She's in high school, she looks like a freaking... She looks like she's only, like, three feet tall. I'd love to have that, Auntie. Would you really? Of course. I'll make you a cute one. Look forward to it. Well, but if Mom found out, I think she'd be really mad. That'll be fine. I'm sure she'll accept a present to my lovely niece. You're so nice, man. My, this aunt of mine is so nice. Thanks, auntie. Wow. Wow, that's so deep. Apparently the monster that was chasing us was actually like our grandma, like symbolized. That's right. This stuff there. Or maybe it wasn't. I, I'm not sure. It was from Auntie to me. I was looking forward to it, but not long after, Auntie's child died. No. Oh. 
Auntie. I'm sorry. When you were suffering most, I didn't help you. I was scared of mother. I let you die, Auntie. But, but, I always loved you, Auntie. I wanted to meet your child, and once you finished this bear, I was going to cherish it. I even became a writer, because you loved books and taught me about so many. Don't cry, Auntie. It was rough for you. It must have hurt. You hate me, don't you? Are you mad that I... that I let you die? For you, Auntie, I'd do anything. I loved you, Auntie. Mura. It's Takimura. Yura? It's Takamura. Oh my god, thank goodness. You've come too. Sorry, I was so worried. You didn't answer the doorbell, so I came down here. Again. An ambulance will be here soon. I'm so glad you came too. I, I, I shook you, but you weren't awake. It's Takamura? Are you crying? I remember. I forgot so much, but I remembered someone very important. I was weak. I couldn't do anything. So I couldn't help her. But I did love her. And I'm very glad. So I'll be fine now. I remember that even I, even I could be loved. Wow, it's so deep and so profound and just, it's just so touching and blows me away. Since then, strange things stopped happening in the house. I was examined at the hospital and they discovered I showed signs of schizophrenia. I still don't know if it was real or hallucination. Now I don't really care which it was. Really good music. Er, okay. Don't think I forgot anything. Oh, is it the man of the hour? Is it that... Mayuri or whatever the fuck his name is? Yep. Mr. Mayuri. What is it? Er, um... I heard you were leaving, so oh, I came to see you off. Oh, so sweet. You're going back to your parents? The situation sounded complicated. Yes. I'll be going to the hospital often, and there's a kind doctor near there. I want to get better with my mom. Her hysteria is getting worse. She needs to get counseling. She needs to get bitch slaps. <laughs> I see. Well, it seems unfortunate we're saying farewell so soon. Don't worry. Once Mom and I are doing better, I'll come back here for sure. I wouldn't. <laughs> really? Yeah. This is the house my auntie left me. <laughs> you thought I was coming for you? <laughs> nah. Come for the house. Come on, really. The house is definitely better, for, better than you. I'd love to live here if I could. So I see. I'm glad. I'll drive you to the station. So many taxis come out here. Not many taxis come out here. Thanks a lot. That'd be great. I'll be back soon, Auntie.
Oh my god, there you have it guys, that is the end of Paranoic. Once again, I do apologize that I didn't upload all of this, all of these parts sooner um, to continue the series. Very good, very well made, much like a lot of RPG games um, that are made by BG Person, well not by him, but like Yuri and uh, Snow Wolf and all them. Um, they made a lot of really good games such as The Crooked Man, this one, uh, The Sandman. They're doing miracles. If you so happen to watch this, good job. Really good job. Um, I'll most likely be playing the Cro Crooked Man, and I will continue the Sandman as well. But as for now, that is Paranoic. That was just a trip of emotions, of scares, of uh, true terror. It's just, it was a really good game all together. So if you guys enjoy, you know what to do. Leave a like down below. Comment some more games you want me to play. Dawson, guys.